England, a thousand miles from Renaissance Italy, struggling with religious divisions and political upheaval. 17th century England was heading for civil war. There was tension between the old and the new. A conflict embodied in the inquisitive mind of a physician working here at St. Bartholomew's Hospital in London. William Harvey was in many respects a traditionalist, but he started to investigate how the body works. This would force him to challenge and eventually overturn orthodox views. Whereas Vesalius had just observed structure, Harvey investigated function. Harvey questioned the widely accepted beliefs that blood is made by the liver and consumed by the rest of the body. One of his most famous experiments was to calculate the volume of blood that passes through the heart. We've got some pig hearts here and I'm going to fill up the pig heart with blood. I'm going to pour into the ventricles here. A bit leaky. So here we have one heartful of blood. And we're now going to weigh this on the balance. And it's approximately just over four ounces. Harvey calculated the number of heartbeats in a half hour period. He then multiplied this by the amount of blood in one cardiac ejection, if you like and came up with a staggering figure. Harvey's figures show that the heart can propel an astonishing 4,000 liters of blood every single day. That's an awful lot of blood. Now, if accepted wisdom was correct, then the body was making and using up this much blood every 24 hours. The amount of blood was vastly in excess uh, of the amount that the liver could possibly produce uh, during a day. Harvey's experiments led him to one conclusion. Blood must circulate around the body. The heart was no longer just a mysterious organ that infuses blood with the essence of life. It was now more like a pump. He was really uh, putting forward a very, very radical idea. It's a very courageous thing to do to overturn the prevailing intellectual ethos on anything.